Hi, welcome to my video on rational functions. Extra problem number one. So I wanted to make up a different problem, so I thought about it and I made up this one. f of x equals x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x squared plus x plus 2. Notice this is a cubic and this is a quadratic. So if we take the cubic and try to factor it to see if this becomes simpler. Uh, notice that we have an x squared common here and we have a 4 common. So let's see if we can take out out of this equation. I'm going to take x squared out of the first two. So that gives us x minus 1. Out of these two, I'm going to take a minus 4 out. And take a negative 4 out of these two, divide by negative 4, we get x minus 1. So that gives us x minus 1 times x squared minus 4, which is x minus 1. And this is different to 2 squares, which is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we have a y equals, so the top part becomes x plus 1 x minus 2, x, sorry, x plus 2, x minus 2. And the denominator is a quadratic that could be factorable. And if there's anything going to be factored, so it looks like 2 is going to be there. So this is an x times an x. Factors of 2 are 2 and 1. And the product is negative and the sum is positive. So it has to be a positive 2, negative 1. Multiply 2 by negative 1, you get a negative 2. Add, and you get positive 1. So we have it all factored. So when we do, we notice that the x plus 2 cancels out. The x minus 1s cancel out. So we get y is equal to x minus 2. So this polynomial on the bottom cancels out. Another way to do that would be to take the quadratic that's on the bottom and divide it into the cubic which is on the top and do it by long division. So I'm just doing this for a bit of practice. But notice we factored the numerator, factored the denominator, and they cancel out. So we're left with this uh, y equals x minus 2, which is a linear. So let's do this long division. So x squared into x cubed is an x. So the x goes above the x, the same as the power of 1, 1. Multiply back. x squared times x is x cubed. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2, negative 2x. Draw a line. We're subtracting, so that plus becomes a minus. That plus becomes a minus. And that minus becomes a plus. So positive 1, negative 1, 0. A negative 1 and a negative 1 makes it a negative 2x squared. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2x. Now I bring down the 4. So x squared divided into negative 2x squared is negative 2. Multiply back. x squared times negative 2 negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 plus 4. And we're subtracting, so we make this a plus. We make this a plus. And that's a plus, so we make it a minus. So add them up. Cancels, cancels, cancels. So there's a zero remainder. Notice because this is a zero remainder, that means this is a factor of this zero is a remainder. So x minus 2 is a factor. So if I did the long division, it would come out to be this right here, either way. Now, as a result, we look for, because let's look for, now, notice this time, two of these canceled out. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. So there's a hole at the x-coordinate of negative 2, 
and there's a hole at the x coordinate of 1. So we take the equation y equals x minus 2 and we plug in the minus 2 for x and negative 4. So there's a hole at negative 2, negative 4. And y equals x minus 2 is the line and we plug in x is 1 and x is 1, 1 minus 2 is negative 1 and there's a hole at 1, negative 1. So let's plot the holes first. So there's a hole at negative 2 here, negative 4 right here. And there's also a hole at 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. There's a hole right here. So let's plot this line. It has a y-intercept of negative 2, which is right here. And the slope is 1, 1 over 1. So we go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. Or we can go down 1, left 1, down 1, left 1. So there's the line. Right there, and it goes on down through like this. So there's a hole there, and the hole there. And there's so I just made up a different equation. This one has two holes in it because when you have um, a rational function or rational expressions like this, uh, they can, because they cancel out, now there's two holes in this one. Before, I only just had one. And I wanted to illustrate that with the extra problem. Always good to look at uh, the math skills that we practiced earlier. And again, if you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.